So it's our first morning in Arizona. And I just saw a bobcat traveling off this mountain, down this canyon. Set up right here. Let's see if I can't squeak him in. opportunity on another cat. I could not pass that up, especially with the bow. And I'm just hoping that this is the start of some amazing things to come. Drinking milk is a great way to meet the body's needs for nine essential nutrients and vitamins. It helps build stronger bones, maintain muscle mass, and it helps power us at Bone Cold TV to achieve greatness. Go to milkforhealth.org to learn more.
National Forest extremely early this morning. We're back in the spot where we have had run-ins with deer every time we've sat. The last two times we've sat here, we've had bucks within bow range. We've been a little bucks, but we've had bucks within bow range. Very confident in the spot. The wind is perfect this morning. The weather is perfect this morning. Very confident that if we put our time in here, we won't get a chance at a goose buck. Shot a giant. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. So you saw me miss a coos buck, a nice buck, six, seven, maybe even an eight point. He shot right over his back, and I was at the lowest of lows feeling bad for myself, feeling like an idiot. And within five minutes we just had redemption on a giant. That is the biggest coos buck I have ever seen in my life. Fold. Peel. Stick. Shoot. Get your targets at showinnovation.com. giant coos. <laughs> we just shot a coos buck in Arizona on the fifth day. We got a little coos. <laughs> Thank you God. Look at this buck. The 
Arizona coos buck that we came all the way across the country with our Athens bows to try to harvest on film on state land do it yourself and we just shot a giant thank you God I cannot believe that we are walking out of here with a velvet coos buck of this capacity he is a giant it's our fifth day we have hunted from sun up to sundown we've covered a lot of ground and we've explored this state forest and it is a magnificent place full of the gray ghost and we've seen a lot of deer but honestly the possibility that i was going to bring one home on this trip was very slim and i didn't think it was going to happen now i have had opportunities to shoot a couple of young bucks but i don't know how many times i will have a chance to get to arizona on a coos hunt and if i, I and i really wanted to try to take one that was a good representative of a coos deer and this is beyond my expectation now you guys saw me miss little basket seven point maybe I would have been extremely happy with a buck of that caliber I shot him for 50 he was at 40 I was heartbroken five minutes later this buck shows up 18 yards the Athens performed flawlessly the b3 broadhead blew through him so far can't even find my arrow and this deer as a matter of fact I can see the blind this deer didn't go 80 yards and he is an awesome buck so much character in this deer big giant look at the mass for a coos deer thank you god i can't say it enough this is such a unique and amazing opportunity that we have here this is a do-it-yourself hunt in arizona in the coronado national forest this is an over-the-counter tag i gotta give I gotta give my friend John Hedges a shout out for getting us pointed in the right direction for this hunt. Uh, giving us some intel, telling us where to stay. Absolutely amazing, amazing deer. I don't even know what to say. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. Not only a coos buck with my bow, but a giant coos buck with my bow. <laughs> Knocked that one off the list. The only deer I lack is my Columbia blacktail. I guess I better start figuring out uh, how to get out west for that. Unbelievable. Thank you, God. There is a reason why treason goes with us around the world. The new Pro Series has a pile of really cool attributes to it, but my favorite thing is you go to this home screen, view from SD card, you can climb up in the deer stand while you're hunting and see what was on your camera right below your tree stand without having to go home and check your computer first. You can do it right there in the tree stand. So it's our fifth day here in West Texas. We have covered so many canyons and a lot of ground looking for these Audad. Free range, West Texas. And we very well may go home without one. At least last night we were doing a little predator hunting and we did get extremely lucky and I killed my ring-tailed cat last night. That's been very high on my bucket list for the last 30 years. And we managed to pull it off last night. 
to leave tomorrow, so we're hoping that we can pull this off. They knocked down one of these odd dad. <sighs> West Texas is a magical place. This place is pretty incredible, so we'll see. Odd oh, dad, West Texas. <laughs> Where else would you rather be? Here we go. some footage. Look at this. Look at this. We are in the canyons of West Texas and we've got a dead on dead. The odd dead of West Texas. Look at this. Ian. Look at this. Unbelievable. So beautiful. Such a gorgeous animal. There are over 75,000 of these things running all in these canyons of West Texas. It's an over-the-counter tag. It cost me $48 at Walmart. It's been kind of a crazy year with COVID. And we've had to cancel almost all of our trips. We figured it was a good year to knock some of this stuff off our list since we can't travel anyways. And we did it. People have no idea of the hunting opportunities that are out there. We just did it. This is probably one of the weariest animals that I have ever hunted. It took us five days, but we were able to get on one. The weather's been just terrible. You can hear the wind behind me. Last night, right at last light, the wind was there, the rain was there. I pulled it off. I couldn't be happier. West Texas odd, man. Look at that. Outdoors for Our Heroes mission is to help service disabled vets build hope, confidence, and family strength through quality outdoor adventures. Good job, guys. Oh. Our wartime service disabled veterans are facing many new challenges in life they have never anticipated. If you'd like to learn more about Outdoors for Our Heroes, our landowner that wants to host a hunt, or to find out how to help, visit OutdoorsForOurHeroes.org.